Let's just get started. I did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world, but this is still a questionable starting topic. Let me ask you this. What is this world's true identity? Huh? This world's true identity? What kind of question is that? This world's true identity. If I answer this, it will be true. That lie will become the truth. But no way I can leave it unanswered. Virtual. Virtual. This world, this Jabberwock Island we're on. It's a virtual world that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island. I was about to answer, jerk. Hey, so this isn't the real world, but if you want, you can call it the game world. You get it? It's all just one big game. Uh, are you friggin' serious? Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard. Did you have us all come here just to tell us bullshit? If this is a game, are my words being displayed in a text window right now? Yes, they are. That's stupid. There's no way that's even possible. I know, I know. The all-in-your-minds trope makes you feel such cruel despair. But who cares? I revived all the suspense and mystery with just one line. Because it's a game. Then we were forced to kill each other. Cause it's a game! A lot of crazy shit happened. Cause it's a game! Bro, shut up! We're the only people here. Cause it's a game! Shut up! Monokuma's nonsensical abilities. Cause it's a game! Don't fuck with me! That's not even possible! I know you guys are pissed, but you were having fun too, right? A world where anything goes only exists in games. There's nothing fun about this. So just force yourself to accept it. This closed space, this game world, was the true stage of this killing school trip. Just, just stop. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna believe that. Back in the day, people must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. But like wearing contact lenses, it'll stop feeling strange once you just get used to it. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses. I mean, if this really is a virtual world, what does that make us? You better not say we're fictional characters. Boy, do I have something to tell you. The Future Foundation created this world using a program called the Neo World Program. It's programmed to place the user in a virtual world by synchronizing directly with the user's brain. Which means your body still exists in the real world. But right now, you're completely submerged in the game world as if you're dreaming or something. Simply put, you're, um, you know, not aviators, but... You mean Avatar, right? An existence created in the game is a copy of the user's real body. But we're not just regular avatars, right? Your avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing from your bodies in the real world. What did you remove? Specific thing that was removed. School memories. I see. School memories. What was removed from us was our school memories, right? We're avatars that were created from our memories from before we entered the academy? So that's why we don't have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy? D don't talk like that! Like we're made from memories of the past. Like we're avatars. Like this is a game world. How'd we end up talking about sci-fi crap? I'll never believe it! How many times do I have to tell you? It's not sci-fi, it's a game! This world is a virtual reality created by a computer program. We can't proceed if we don't accept it. 
leaving him really the only thing we can do. Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? You are the evidence! What does that mean? Your avatar's made of memories from before you entered the school! But your actual bodies in the real world are different! Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your real bodies actually live that life! What game world? What avatar? I'm a human being with a real body! Is there any ever You are what does that mean? Your avatars, but your actual though you have no memories of your your real bodies actually. Dang, I hate to agree with him, bro. Earlier in the teacher's lounge, I found this strange newspaper clipping. There's a picture of Hyoko, but she looked more like an adult than the Hyoko we knew. Like an adult? What does that mean? Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. But in the real world, we've already lived out our school lives. Which means we've grown that much older. And among us, some age so much we didn't recognize them. And you are saying that happened to Hyoko? It appears Hyoko had a growth spurt during the school year. Looks like the other shorty graduated, Fuyuhiko. I can't believe that. You're just making shit up. But if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time, right? So you should have felt your bodies go through growth spurts. But why didn't you guys recognize each other? Because we did not know each other before we lost our memories. Yeah. If we all met after we lost our school memories, it's no different than meeting each other for the first time. Since we didn't know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. No, hold on. If we didn't know each other before, we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other. Then wouldn't he have noticed the difference? Monokuma? Crap. Ooh, Fuyuhiko? You're the only one. Wait, why would Fuyuhiko know the difference? Hey, Fuyuhiko. You oh, yeah! Time, right? Yeah, now that you mention it. Seems weird. No. Now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. Strange? What is? Our school memories. About how many days worth were taken away? As the creators of the Neo World program, only the future foundation would know the details, but around two or three years worth, I assume. That long? Peko and I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. If we lost two years' worth of memories, we would have noticed that we were older than we remembered. So, does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? Your refusal to accept your mutual memory loss is why you can't notice all the important parts. You don't look older. That's the thing. That's the issue. Your avatars don't look older. You've lost your memories. End of story. You guys are avatars who had their memories taken from them. This is a virtual world. We're virtual avatars. Are you saying we just have to accept that? I can feel my heartbeat, and I know what I smell like. So what do you call these things I'm feeling? Are you saying these are all lies? Just because it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Have you heard that when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned, a burn mark will really appear? So if our brains believe something is real, it's no different than if it actually happened? 
Now that you mention it, I did hear about a phenomenon quite similar to that. Yes, yeah, Sonia was talking about it. In a distant country, there was a certain experiment carried out on one of their prisoners. The prisoner was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. That prisoner was left alone in the experiment room, as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. But in fact, his blood was not being drained. He was just forced to listen to the sound of dripping water, but he believed he was bleeding to death. However, in spite of that, the prisoner still died. As expected of Miss Sonia, your knowledge of state-sanctioned torture is amazing. If a lie is a believable lie, you're saying it might become the truth? Yeah, that's honestly how it works. We're really just connected to machines and stuff. And our consciousness was uploaded into here. So we genuinely believe that this game world was real. Then, the Jabberwock Island we've been living on. Of course, that's also a virtual world. That sea, that beach, the buildings, everything. It's all a virtual world created by the Neo World program. It's just like this space we're in right now. What we see before us is a virtual environment created by the program. It looks real because our brains think it's real. That's why in the end. It was all just a creation. That's the truth. The truth is. Truth is, it was all a lie. That is this world's truth. If everything's a lie, then what should we believe? Who cares if it's a lie? Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world, everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? I assume so. Uh, then that must mean- Our friends, are, I was thinking that, but I, I was thinking that, but I didn't want to say it out loud because I didn't, just so it would hurt a little less. If Monokuma was like, no, they died. They 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 died in the real world too. That's right. The killings we were forced to commit were part of some silly game. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. Oh yeah. Just because they died in the virtual world doesn't mean they died in real life. You are saying everyone is still alive? Yeah, that's it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? <laughs> What's so funny? If a lie is a believable lie, it might become the truth. That's what you said earlier, Fuyuhiko. Because they all thought they were dead while they were unconscious, they actually died. Don't tell me. You mean... The Neo World program isn't just any game. It's next-gen software containing the ultimate reality. And speaking of that reality, if a player's avatar experiences death, their brains inside their actual bodies will stop functioning too! What? Then... everyone who died... It's not like their bodies are completely dead, so I can't say it's a true death, but that's why it's actually crueler instead. All that's left of them are empty husks. Are you saying they will never awaken again? What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, nobody's gonna appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? Nick, I would've! I would've appreciated that right now! What game? That's not what we risked our lives for. Ah, if you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. They're forcing you to play this game. Fuck you, nigga! You the one that's forcing us to do that, you biracial bitch! Future Foundation? 
The people from the Future Foundation made us play this sick game? Everything was their doing? Then... Monomi and Shiaki were... They betrayed the Future Foundation to protect us. And then... They were taken out. I see. So our real enemy is the Future Foundation. Don't let this nigga lie to y'all, bruh. The Future Foundation is our real enemy. Is that it? Is that really it? No, nigga, that's Cap. The fuck? This is the original Nagarampa, isn't it? The Neo World program was developed by the Future Foundation, right? Yeah. The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? And the enemy is the Future Foundation. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. There's no way they're good guys. Then the Future Foundation is truly an organization of evil. That would make a killing game. No, they didn't That's make the killing it. game. They didn't make the killing game. Originally, in the world created by the Neo World program, a concept like violence never existed. Th then, why is there killing going on? The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. C could it be that virus is? You're right. Until Monokuma appeared, this island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. Yeah. It didn't get weird until Usami was remodeled as Monami. Monami. What sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? Hey, don't change the subject. That's also something we need to clear up. Monami or Usami was the observer. I see. She was the observer of the Neo World program. Isn't that right? That's right. She was an NPC that was assigned the role of observer. NPC? What's that? Non-player character. A character that's not controlled by a person. It's different from avatars like us. Monami's existence was created entirely by the program. Just to monitor the 15 of you. <gasps> Please wait. Did you just say 15 people? Have you forgotten how to count? We're 16 people in total. He was probably excluding the other observer. Huh? Another observer? Yaki. Yaki. I see. Aside from the 15 participants, there were two sure. observers in the New World program. One of them was Monami, and the other one was. Oh, Chiaki. Could it have been Chiaki? Yeah, you're right. You're saying Chiaki was an NPC? Oh, she was an NPC? So you're saying she was just a program? And she didn't actually exist in real life? Th then she wasn't human? She didn't exist at all. Not human. No, that's not it. Chiaki was really alive. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? Don't get all mushy towards a game show. Shut up! Shut up! Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable world ender. Shut up, biracial nigga! World ender. Now that you mention it, you referred to the Future Foundation by that name before. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the Future Foundation was our enemy. Do not joke about the world ending. No, there's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also world ender. At least for those of us here. I'm thinking... He's calling, he calls them world ender. Because Monokuma said something about he's not ending the world. He's going to bring it back. But we know he's bringing it back in a way that he wants to, which is terrible. Future Foundation ended the world that we saw at the end of Trigger Happy Havoc. And Monokuma 
To Monokuma, that was his world. Future Foundation ended that world of despair. Monokuma is bringing it back. So to them, to him, they are world enders. For everyone who's here. I don't get that though. Hey, what do you mean, those of us here? Why are you lumping us with you? It's just a bluff. Monokuma, what exactly are you? Hey, don't you just show us your true self already? What, you can't talk? It is cowardly of you to just ignore us. Before I reveal my true identity to you guys, it appears the main cast has finally arrived. Huh? The main cast? Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender. What? World Ender? Makoto. Makoto. The ultimate hope has arrived! The ultimate hope is here! The foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies with you guys. Alright! I was waiting for you, Makoto! You finally arrived! Makoto? That's the go! That's the go, Makoto! I miss you, man! I miss you! My name is Makoto Naegi. Like you, I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. I miss you, man! And right now, I'm a member of the Future Foundation. You are from the Future Foundation? Why did someone like you suddenly show up? I got it. You came to save us, right? Then hurry up and save us! Hey, what happened? What is this? Isn't he acting a bit strange? This guy's attitude, that's as if... He's being cautious of us. Of course. I don't mind rescuing you guys. But before that, you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. Situation we're in. Why do you think the Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program? Who cares? Hurry up and get us out of here. The Neo World program has another name: the Hope Restoration Program. Hope Restoration Program. By now, you should understand your true identity. Huh? Our true identities? Aren't we the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Who were rescued by the Future Foundation? Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Put them all together and try thinking about it. Put it together and think. Oh, now Makoto is being freaking Kyoko. Like, ah, oh, figure it out yourself. You know, I could tell you, but figure it out yourself. Hey, bro, that's my ultimate hope, though, you know? I'm not... That's my ultimate hope. I ain't gonna talk down on him. I talk, I talk, I talk, I talk crazy enough about Makoto during Trigger Happy Having Day. Who are the 15 survivors of Hope Academy? It's us. Or actually, you right? Because technically you can, well, no, not really. If we were talking about, you know, Makoto and them, it would have been, what, like 16 survivors, right? Because the Despair sisters were also survivors. Who are the remnants of Despair? Monokuma. Monokuma. Come on now. Wait. We are the remnants of Despair?! What? So this entire thing was just to help fix us so that we would understand hope. And that explains why Mikan went insane. Because Mikan was actually, a, because Mikan regained her memories of being a remnant of despair, which is why she went so crazy. That's why they got rid of our memories. Why were Hajime to recover from their despair? Oh my goodness. That is a plot twist if I've ever seen a plot twist. Holy crap. The 
survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of Ultimate Despair are... Yes, both of those phrases refer to you guys. So they're world ender to us because our world, the, our world was despair. And the Future Foundation ended that world of despair. That's why Monokuma said that to us, they're a world ender. He's being tricky with words. That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, you're also survivors of ultimate despair. We're all ultimate despair? Don't be stupid. In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. That was us? What is this ultimate despair? I remember hearing that the dangerous guys who were responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, and wars. Yes, they're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. Despair in human form, but utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. The ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals. They just spread despair everywhere they go. They live solely to torment everything. To burn everything. We're part of a dangerous group like that? But that's gotta be a lie! <laughs> Try it. There's no way. There's no way we're all ultimate despair. Nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. That's why he wanted us dead. He wanted Chiaki to survive and all of us to die so he could kill off despair. Oh man. That puts Nagito in the... In the uh, uh, Nagito? Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? He's the only one who knew this truth before you guys. It was a special prize for clearing the final dead room. Was it that file that contained all our student profiles? But inside... But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details. Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Host Peak Academy. If it's not written there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the academy. No, it used to have profiles from after you entered the school, but Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. Huh? Why? Why do you know something like that? Anyway, it's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? Learn the truth. What did he try to do? Telling us the answer? He tried to kill us. Woo! Man, I had to I had to lock in. I had to lock in. I had to lock in. Holy crap. He tried to kill everyone except for the traitor. That's right. After seeing the file, you learn that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us because we were ultimate despair? Yes, because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair. I sort of understand that. Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I don't need a twist like that. It might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, you were in contact with her. Her? The true ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima. It's the cause of everything. Holy crap. She strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became Ultimate Despair. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. 
Is that why you took away our school memories? The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. Family, friends, and our own bodies? Aren't you exaggerating a bit? He's right! There's no way we do something like that! Don't turn away from the truth! What was that just now? A memory? But that person, that was Nagito, right? It appears you've remembered a little. Huh? Now, face what you've done. And from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. <laughs> There's obviously some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Because you're all ultimate despair. You killed your friends and family. And you even destroyed your own bodies. That must be it. That memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world. What Nagito did was... He cut off his own arm and transplanted a woman's arm? Not just any woman's arm. It was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. What? what did you say? He probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within it. I, I don't get this at all. The ultimate despairs defy understanding. They have no problem severing their own limbs. I... I am terribly sorry. I do not feel so well. Where's the bathroom? It's just a game anyway, so why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty sure a select few would demand that. Ew. It's too soon to feel sick. It's not even the worst thing the Ultimate Despairs have done. Some wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting in order to reach the despair of starvation. Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Not just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair? And not just that. Some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. Yeah. Just stop! That's just a bullshit story. That's obviously bullshit! So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling. But there's no need to worry. If you just advance toward the hope I provide, you'll definitely be safe. Save? You'll save us? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. That's why the Neo World program was created, too. You put us inside this program so that you can save us? Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. If we remove the memories of your time at Hope's Peak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? So, you're saying this was like a test? I guess I can say that the test was a success. Even though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the hope fragments, nevertheless, you guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. That's why, all you need to do is choose graduate. If we do that, we can get out of here? However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. I don't want them! I was an evil bastard! I killed people! If you choose to graduate, and the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the Hope Restoration Program, and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. Uh, uploaded? 
It means by uploading our avatar's memories into our bodies, we're also forcibly erasing our past selves. That's why it's called the Hope Restoration Program. So that is the Neo World Program. Hey, what happens to the people whose avatars die? If an avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. So you're saying they'll never wake up? God damn it! Damn fucking shit! Ahem, please take a look at this flipbook for a quick rundown of your options. If you choose Graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. Unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. Just a thought. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? You'll just have to continue living your tropical life. Hey, why you gotta ask something like that? Well, even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? If that is the case, then maybe staying on this island is... What are you saying? Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever! Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. But still, is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? You're asking that now? We've been doing that for like six chapters! If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? You're right. We've been trying desperately to survive until we could finally leave this place. If we don't get out of here now, all the deaths we've endured until now will be vain. We know this place. <laughs> Something's not right. How come Monokuma isn't trying to stop us? He's gonna stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this game world? And everything Monokuma did would be pointless too. Not only that. Is it really okay for us to believe him? Hold on, the same junkie strikes again. I got it, I'm gonna trust in the goat. I chose wrong. I see. So we can't, we can't trust Makoto? We have some time to decide. Did you get scared like Sonya? No, it's not that. Don't you think this is a little strange? I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to press the three dots. I did. I felt like that was the right choice. But I wanted to trust Makoto, man. So I'm really hoping that this turns out to be something and we're not really doubting Makoto. But I really do trust Makoto. Strange. You still don't understand? Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. Makoto doesn't talk like that. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. Makoto doesn't talk like that. M Makoto, what has happened to you? Just listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? That's how they trick us. That's how they trick us. That's not actually, he's not actually from the Future Foundation. That's, that's something Monokuma planted. Do it. There's something wrong with you. I said I'm going to save you guys. Why aren't you listening to me? Let's do what he says and get out of here. I mean, the Future Foundation's the good guys, right? And apparently, we are actually the bad guys. It's fine to trust him, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the Future Foundation. You defy the Future Foundation! Hold on. Did you say it's foolish to defy the Future Foundation? Then how do you explain your actions? My actions? I saw it. The email that the Future Foundation sent to you. This isn't Makoto. 
I see what it is. This is the future foundation using um, using Makoto as an avatar to trick us and kill us. Where are you? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep those people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important and bring hope, light to hope to the world. Six, you join the Future Foundation because you agree with our ideals. Yeah, 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 whatever. In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair. Which clearly contradicts what this person is saying. Huh? Is that email for real? The Future Foundation tried to kill us? I don't blame them. We're, we're pretty freaking evil, huh? Hold on. We'll deal with that later. Hey, Monokuma. Those clues we found were all real, right? Yes! That's not the only contradiction. This Makoto person is con all saying also contradiction we've already been told. Can't guarantee there are no issues with this program. We can sure whether to run a program on you guys or not. But this is the only way to save your work to protect you. Those words seem much more real. I was low. I, yo, I'm going to keep it real with y'all, bro. Hearing this man Makoto talk. I was I was I was getting a little uneasy about it too. I was starting to think something was up with him, but you know I that's the goat man. I really wanted to trust Makoto. I really wanted to trust Makoto, but now I realize there's no way that is Makoto. Makoto would never talk to me crazy like that. Makoto was too nice. He is naive, 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 naivety. He's the come on. He would never. The person in front of us is. Tell me, Makoto Naegi, who are you? You can't be Makoto. Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi, who's known for being a cutie patootie. I'm not asking you. I'm asking you, insolent fool. If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof. I'm trying to interfere, then. To prove whether that Makoto is real or not, I'm going to shove that in his face. I can't hear you. Better luck next time. You insolent fool. If you're sick, this is the end. It has to spell out Leon. Makoto Naegi. That's who you really are. Then tell me this. Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? 11037. Um, what was that again? You can't answer? That's weird. Wait, you... Where'd you find that out? Who cares? So how about it? Do you even Give answer? Give me an answer! Oh, man. I've been found out. Found out? Then you're... <laughs> how disappointing! And I thought I was on the right track! He disappeared? Hey! That guy disappeared! Why are you surprised? It's a computer program. So anything's possible, right? And then... That was just the work of Monokuma? Brought back my goat. To tease me. Aww, you found out I was faking! This is so embarrassing, I just want to kill myself! Please kill yourself! My god! Oh, at least it wasn't Kyoko. If, 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 if it was Kyoko, I, I probably would have killed myself. What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me. I may as well be invisible. A trap? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess. I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya! Just kill him right now! Then this nightmare can finally end! Violence is not allowed! This isn't that kind of game! 
It's a much smarter game, right? What game? This game is already over! This game... is over? No, no, no! I'm not gonna let you finish yet! There's no way this can end before I've even transformed! Tr transform A transformation is customary in a final boss battle, right? You know, like that one role-playing game? You know what game I'm talking about. Final... Don't say it! Now then, allow me to show you. Final Fantasy? I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to... My final form! I've never played Final Fantasy before. You better not be bluffing. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out. I'm gonna transform into Junko. <laughs> what? I have a bad feeling about this. Like the inside of my brain is burning, sizzling, a really, really bad feeling. That's junk. Ew. What the? Ew. What the heck? It's nice to see. That is hard. I'm going to be very honest. That is hard. Okay. I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? She, she's huge. She's way too huge. Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game, Sniperella. She said it anyway. I've never heard of that. I see. I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Hey, hey, want me to squish you in between them? I mean, no! My boobs feel good, you know. I get fucking crushed! If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage. But, too bad, this isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either, you won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> so fucking hopeless! This is Monokuma's true identity? We, we have to deal with this thing? What is she, freaking William Afton? You call you die and come back as a virus? I'm shocked you'd call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Um, is it just me or did her personality change? I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. You, you are not bored at all. I got bored of getting bored. Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. When you're dead, does that mean the person's true identity 
It's gotta be Byakuya Togami. I see. It's Junko Enoshima. Are you Junko Enoshima? Did you say Junko Enoshima? Isn't she dead? It's true. I did end up dying the last time. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I, I couldn't help it, you know? It was my first time. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. And why is someone who died here right now? Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Huh? Exuberance! We are now an AI! We have transcended humanity! What AI? Stop saying all this crazy bullshit! You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. That's insane. This insane bitch is Junko Enoshima. He's responsible for everything. The destruction of Hope's Peak Academy. The destruction of the world. The one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this bitch's doing. And so, what am I supposed to do? Even if we know she's Junko Enoshima. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends! <laughs> Hell no! Man, they hate me. Yes! And I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. Huh? Tampered? With the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens to you when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happened so it's something exciting and unique, just like a game. What did you change it to? Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Resurrect. Resurrect. Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? It was like real hard, you know? The graduation program is the core part of this game, so it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in the microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about that? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? Oh my goodness. By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. So you're not gonna tell us until we answer that? We're completely at our mercy. But if we can't progress unless we answer, we have no choice but to answer. How long did it take for Junko Enoshima to modify the graduation program? We're in place. Never walk Park. I see. It was that bomb. The countdown at Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliant! Totally wrong! <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. Oh, uh, what? Wrong? And what was it? How should I put this? I was just goofing around. Fuck you! Like, bruh! I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was just for show? 
In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so overpredictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? She's... she's seriously messed up. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules, like don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough! Please stop! Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough of this pointless crap! Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? That's the like question. I said, it's easy. It's just a game after all. Just a game? Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. He said that's what Fuyuhiko said. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. Fine. I won't worry about it. Hey! Who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. Will they come back evil? But if we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Yeah, but we're about to cross over to a world where not anything goes. Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? If she's saying that's how she tampered with a computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm? What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is. Man, that's so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? Oh, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course! We've been working toward that goal for, like, forever! Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Unless everyone can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. I don't believe her, though. You are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip, your will to live is truly ultimate. Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Devices? Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Now well then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Ch chump? Not a chump. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So we just have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. She's right, with this, we can finally go back. This will be the end. And our friends who died will be saved. Way beyond what we expected. And it's safe to say this is the good ending, right? Hey, bro. Already no. I gotta say. I hate these choices. I hate choices that work on guessing. I just don't know enough to make this decision. All I know is that I don't trust you. So I have to press graduate. 
I don't trust Junko. Makoto! 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 What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. It's not again. This time, it's the real one. Real? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. This guy is the real Makoto Naegi? Then this is the guy I spoke to. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> You also claim my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone, and then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. Ah, I'm drooling! I can't stop my <laughs> How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. You always had such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. Shut up, Fuyuhiko! When Makoto talks, you shut the fuck up and listen! We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. No! After all this, I can't Hold on. let you get in the way. The no, you're wrong! Thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Hey, little old me. Yes, bitch! Who do we trust? Makoto. If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. Yes, what other goal would she possibly have? Uh, despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego the AI she stole my friend's skill to create and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. What? Then everyone who died isn't going to come back to life. They're going to be taken over by Junko? We cannot let that happen. What the fuck? Like the real world, once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fuyuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I can play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. I said, don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! Junkify All Mankind? You're uploading my alter ego into everyone who died? I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And then, eventually, I... there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world! No, I don't like that at all! With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete! That 
That's Operation Jumbofy All Mankind in a nutshell. Oh, yeah! Our dreams are expanding and That messed up plan is your goal? Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The operator arm rules. The reason she wasn't able to do that was because there's something she didn't do. But the reason is, school trips rules. She wasn't allowed to. God, it's because of the school trips rules. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. You can not know. So, the rules were protecting us? Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other, because you couldn't kill us yourself. Oh, is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? Chump change. Damn. I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you! So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate. So you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. How... how can you be so cruel? Because Junko and Oshima is... the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles or a lifestyle or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko and Ashima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? I swear, she talks about killing her sister. Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me. Dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes. Oh, that memory is so beautiful. It made my brain melt. Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? Talking about them? There, of course. I see. Are you talking about the Reserve Course's mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the Reserve Course. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. M mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the Reserve Course all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number. You were there when we found out, stupid. You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all tied at once. Oh, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? 
If we choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will act right? If that happens, Chuko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? What, what the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cool thing for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong! That's not it! But Ultimate Despair is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Don't go over here trying to gaslight as if I don't know my boy Makoto was here for me. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL. This is nothing to LOL about. But it's so ironic. You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Even though you came all this way to win the game. Even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win. <sighs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so fucking tragic? Stop it! It was all a mistake? Was this really just a mistake? Was it a mistake to think we'd go home alive all along? about the killings in the class trials was this just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs killed each other off that this is just too don't give up yet there is a way you guys can get out of here without letting juco out huh no no there's no way such a convenient there is really well, that's the first ha! i've heard of it stupid First, she's heard of it. Then, it's a way that even Junko doesn't know about? It has to be that. I see. Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can. Stop it. Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. Because Makoto said you need at least half the students. And we have less than half. Huh? You, you know about it. More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? We don't have enough people. I see. Because there's not enough people? <clears throat> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. Kyoko, pull up! Kyoko, pull up! Kyoko, pull up! Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe... Oh, uh, I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. What if he says, like, I believe in my ultimate luck? That would go so hard. I'm not gonna lie, that would go hard. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. That's even harder. Well, it's not even harder, but it's still hard. 
Damn. Kyoko! I knew it! My girl! Oh my girl! My girl is here! My girl is here! Kyoko! Oh. Hold on. Byakuya! Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag it. Byakuya! Hold on! Hina. Kyoko! Byakuya! Oh. I knew you guys would come. I don't, honestly, those are the only ones we really need. If we had freaking freaking Hina and Yasuhiro, they might do something stupid and screw it up. I'm not gonna lie. Kyoko and Byakuya. Kyoko, Kyoko, Byakuya. We'd be better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. I, I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey, what's going on? Why are there more people again? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages! It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later! I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remember. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Miyakuya, you're alive. But you're so skinny now. I feel so bad for you. You shut up too. <laughs> um, are you two also from the Future Foundation? No, it's probably not just that. <gasps> Six of you joined because you agree with our ideas. We rescued you from the tragedy of the recovery. Tragedy. Killing school life is referring to you that. Guys are the survivors of the killing school life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. Th there's three of them here now? The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, stupids! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now, all the ultimate despairs. <laughs> they will be treated like even bigger chumps. You said it again. Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her in this messed up world. This messed up world. Hey, can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted, too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you enter the program. Oh, that's not good. Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Now, hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we enter the program... We'll revert to ultimate despairs. I see! Does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right! Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. <laughs> no! Are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern, but this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have...
time to fight? I, I thought we finally reached the end. Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. That's wrong! Uh, well... Watch out! Hey, watch out! I saw Makoto! Uh, 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 there's the six people! They left the Future Foundation! They betrayed me! Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Will you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like really nasty. Not funny, Junko. But, but still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Hey. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Meaningless. Vanish? Does that include her too? If we lose our memories of this world, we're also going to forget she ever existed, right? If that happens, does it really mean that that she and existed confined to this world is really going to disappear? She risked her life to protect us and we won't even remember she existed. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition, that's like a bad joke. We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We, we don't know anything about that past! Hey, why... why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me... People who claim the stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we've got to do some reviewing. No, we don't. When you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of Despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the Future Foundation win, or will my Despair win? Alright! Things are starting to heat up! That's Doraemon, isn't it? This isn't a game, you know. How contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. <laughs> I'm about sick of this! Let's go! Those who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again! Only because it's true! Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. Huh? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? Question? As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question! Who did I lure and how did I do it? 
The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. The same outcome as a killing school life? Do I just have to remember what occurred there? The people Junko lore, the method. I should try connecting these dots. There should be a um, something there. Logic died. I have no clue where this is going. I assume she lured the killing, she lured the survivors there so that she can like, you know, actually win this time instead of lose like she did last time. But she's not gonna beat Makoto and Kyoko, bro. Like they're too goaded. Oh, dang, that was almost bad. Who did Junko Inoshima want to lure? Not the headmaster, right? Future Foundation, I assume? Yeah. I'm trying to say, the headmaster's dead. It's Kyoko's daddy, he dead. He found his bones. What bait was used to lure the Future Foundation? The killing, I assume. They wanted to save us, right? Then obviously killing us all off is gonna be what Hold on, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Yeah, they thought they could trick me up. They thought they could trick me up. They thought they could trick me up. What did Junko use to force him to watch the camera? Surveillance camera. That was tripping me up. What the freak? Surveillance caramel. Surveillance cameras. What? You say cameras, stupid. Boom. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Got it. You used the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the future foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous killing school line, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding! I was broadcasting the killing school trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? What shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. Excuse me? You sure did. I will never be queen now. Please forget what you saw. So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? We tried to hack in many times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again, until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, that dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Hey, don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I use to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? No! Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. Huh? You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. 
to provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Oh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this. Thank you. It's all thanks to you guys. This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair. We do not feel despair. Exactly. That's my goat. She snapped back fast like a snap back cat. Hold on. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty fucking desperate. Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are going to be trapped here forever. Trapped? Why would that happen? I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? Graduate and repeat, right? Lose one of them and press it. All you have to do is cast your votes, and whichever one has the majority will be considered. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. Monokuma has to... Keep his final decision. I see. As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. I need my decision. Alright, shut up. Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade. Hmm. That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that. All too well. I mean, she's been bad mouthing us this whole time. Oh. It looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. My coat. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look up on their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... Well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. the one who's gonna make you fall into despair that's the mastermind's job and they'll be appearing very soon huh mastermind mastermind someone else is coming that can't be it's just a bluff you should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind but i always fall into that pattern so i was kind of worried about that enough already what are you talking about Oh well, let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Izuru Kamakura? Person was called the ultimate hope. That shouldn't be all he was. Oh, wait, no! Izuru was the founder. Yoko's dad was the, um, the headmaster. I see. 
Sakura. Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the Ultimate Pope, right? Hmm? Huh? Does the Founder have the same name as that Ultimate Hope guy? Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The future Foundation might know something, right? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamakura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that, the matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. And you're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Don't say such cruel things. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Why? Isn't that right, Hajime? Huh? What? I am... What? Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. Excuse you? Huh? Alrighty, if you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand. You're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura. Hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? Liar! There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura! Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is... That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve force dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. I'm Izuru Kamakura? Good news, Hajime! Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along, ultimate hope. How can someone from the reserve course have such an amazing talent like that? In order to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve course? Then Hajime's name is fake? Th there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata. I've always had that name, ever since I was born! Then Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last-minute plot twists! If he created hope, it might be Izuru. I'm the ultimate hope? Then the current me and Izuru Kamakura are... What did the Host Peak Academy do to me? Oh, I completely forgot about this. That's it right there. Then Hajime's name. There's no doubt. I've always. Oh dang. All right, I figured it out. I had to. I just had to look at the what you call it. I just had to look at what they all were. I need to check the two bullets again. There's no doubt. I've always had the hope. Then Izuru is your pay. You were. I didn't know what any. You be creating hope. That must be it! Created hope? Are you talking about the hope cultivation plan? Hope cultivation plan? What is that? 
A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder. And called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was... Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. Huh? You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See? Didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies. That's definitely a lie. After many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0! Did you say transformed? What did they do to him? Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously, it's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Did they really do something like that? But if you think about it, Hajime gets out of here. He's gonna be a super genius, right? Like I said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. Different person? How is he different? All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Huh? Emotions? Thoughts? Hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hachime even exists here at all, even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope's Peak Academy. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. Disappear. I'm going to disappear. 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 Disappear.
But no matter what happens, it is of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Huh? Really? Really? I don't really understand, but I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, really don't do, play you? along do you? Freak, who's that? What's that? Me? No, that's, that's not me. That's what you are. That's who Izuru Kamakura is. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this. Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was... It's not me! Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. <sighs> Have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. I see. I just need to choose graduate then. In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. Wait, hold on. Was I making a decision or was I answering a question? Lord, don't tell me I was making a decision. I don't want to do that. I'd rather sacrifice. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless, happy ending. Hold on. You can't do that. If you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Junko's alter ego. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the Future Foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the Future Foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. That's not it. What we're saying is, we have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's... Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the ultimate despairs, right? Once you go back to being ultimate despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> and can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love. There won't even be save data left of it. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the Academy he loves so much. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? You can't believe her! That's how she works! That's what she does, so she can lure you all toward despair. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. Oh, hold on! What is it? Why are we still waiting? Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? No, I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right now, it's finally started to calm down. 
If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? At this point, this is the only way. Hey, man. No, no, no. There is another way. As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories. And everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? You guys, you can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. And which is true despair. You're asking us? You're telling us to decide? Damn it! Why'd it turn out like this? If everyone can overcome despair, you guys should be able to grasp true hope. If our memories up until now disappear, I will not even remember the reason everybody died. Are you really going to let her take over your friend's bodies? You might think I'm a fool, but... I want to see Pekko one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair... The Future Foundation might kill us, right? We won't let them do that. This is all the Future Foundation's fault. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world! What do I do? For your protection. If Junko escapes to the real world, there will be countless victims again. Uh, I know, but... Everyone's hope is in conflict. Such despair! <laughs> Why do we have to choose? What? I can't do it. Huh? You can't do it? I can't choose. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. And that? I can't decide. I can't choose either one might be a bad ending like last second i had a thought of like what if i took the what where if i what if i took reset hope and reverse searched it and then shot that at despair i just had that thought so if that's what i was supposed to do i might it just might be a bad ending hajime shut up leave me alone this this is just too much why do i why do i have to be a part of this i mean i'm different from the rest of you and I don't even have a talent. But even so, I got dragged into this. And now, my existence is going to disappear? <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Both choices are hopeless. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? This burden. Don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. Everyone. Get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible! For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future! Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem! That's... And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez. Once again, this went exactly as I expected. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Oh well, since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that. 
but the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine, I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. Hm, I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So, let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I think I messed up. Wait a second. All right, a game reset. And with this, the world will continue to loop. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. What am I doing? All right, a game reset. And with this, the world. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. I guess it's fine to stay like this for a while. No. The master. That is a wise call. Yay! You didn't have to forget us! Yes, there's no way I would forget. And with this, Juko's gone. All right! Let's party! I'm gonna showcase my full cooking ability. This is freaky. Just leave the BGM to Ibuki! Hey, can I take a picture to commemorate this? Want to be awed by the sight of my prowess? I've prepared you a training regiment. Mm, if you get hurt, let me know. Should I begin with a brief introduction of myself? <laughs> After all this time? What was this again? Oh well, there's no need to think about it. I wanted this ending. The world an eternal game you told me You're a master. That is a wise call. Yay! You didn't have to forget us! Yes, there's no way I would forget. And with this, Juko's gone. Alright! Let's I'm gonna showcase my full cooking a bit. Just leave the BG out to the Hey, can I take a picture to want to be awed by the side of my pot? I've prepared you a training. Ooh, if you get hurt, should I begin with a brief introduction? <laughs> After all this time? That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? All right! A game she reset! And with this, the world... An eternal game... I guess it's fine to stay... Young master. Yay! Yes, there's a... And with this, Juka... All right! I'm gonna showcase my... Just leave the BG... Hey! Can I take what to be odd by the I've prepared you a <laughs> if you should I begin with a brief and <laughs> that's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? What was this again? Oh well, no need to think about it. You wanted this, right? All right! And with this, the world an eternal game. No! This world. Part of the game, but you guys aren't, right? Chiaki, is that you? Why are you here? Hmm, I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because you should have already disappeared. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, don't you think they're messed up? Telling us the world's going to be destroyed? And to sacrifice ourselves? There's no way I can choose. For someone like me, I'm just not able to choose. Seriously, I've had enough. To 
tired of being mixed up in all this stuff I don't understand. Not only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And on top of that, I was told I'm going to disappear too. Isn't that messed up? Hey, you don't want that either, right? I mean, if we lose our memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going to completely disappear, and none of us will ever remember you. No, I won't. Huh? Even if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, that doesn't mean I will completely disappear. As long as everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, I will never disappear. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. You're right, but... You're... probably just scared, right? Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward the future with such a heavy burden, right? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm obviously terrified. Of that. How much longer are you going to be this indecisive? Huh? Didn't you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's Peak Academy? But... Even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Hajime... You've had it wrong this whole time. Wrong? Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? What's important is that you believe in yourself. If you can't do that... No matter how much talent you possess... You will never be confident in yourself. Just like... How you were in the past. You? Hey, who are you? I mean... You should have already disappeared, right? But past Hajime is in the past. He's not the same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be alright. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Hey, Chiaki. Can you tell me something? Which... Which choice should I make? My hope? The world's hope? Which one should I choose? You guys are the only ones who have the right to decide your future and the responsibility, too. So you're saying I should choose for myself? But if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? Create? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. You guys don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. Do you think someone like me can do that? Since you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. <clears throat> If I do it, things will turn out okay. Of course. Games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. B but this isn't a game, right? Hey, Hajime. This isn't for the sake of anyone else. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then, it's about time you show me your cool side, Hajime. Come on, I'll help out too. Help? I have no talent at all. Oh. This is me? This really me? I have no talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. This Nihil. I don't want to disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Who cares what will happen to the world? I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. There's no way we can be Junko. It's the Future Foundation's fault. Not mine. I can't choose the future. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. You should even be able to create the future. This is me? Is this really me? So uncool. It's totally uncool. I have no talent at all. 
I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. I don't want to disappear. Shut up! I'm not easy to recover. Shut up! Who cares what will happen to the world? Shut up! I don't want I to sacrifice myself. Shut up! It's not like, like I'll be appreciated. Shut up! There's no way we can be- Shut here. up! It's the future foundations. Shut up! Not mine. Silence! Past! Even so, I can't choose the future. Even so. Even so. If you just do it, things will turn out okay. You should even be able to create the future. Uh-huh. Don't worry. I got you, Chiaki. I'm gonna create the future right now. I have no talent at all. Silence! Past! Even so, I... No matter what kind of future it is, as long as you guys move toward it, I will never disappear. Everything that happened here, it won't be meaningless. If you guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future, even if it's a convenient miracle. If you just do it, things will turn out okay. That's why you can't hesitate now. Resolve to throw everything away and give it everything you got. I'll be cheering for you, too. That reminds me. I forgot to say it again. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Get up! Get up! Get up! We don't rid the world of despair. Mm. The tragedy will start once again. I want to see Echo one more time. Oh. If we turn back into ultimate despair, we might be killed by the Future Foundation, right? This is your responsibility, since you're the ones who fell to despair. It's not my responsibility. It's the Future Foundation's. They're both hope and they're both despair. A conclusion will never be fucking reached. You can't lose hope. With the memories you made. Uh, come on. Come on. Remember. Come on. Come on. We gotta charge up that hope, Kamehameha. Come on. Get lend me your energy. People of Earth, lend me your hope. We must crush despair. Hold on. Hold on! Give it to me! Come on, come on, give, give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me. Come on, come on, give it to me, shut up. Give it to me. Give it to me. Uh! That boy thinking! Hold on, he charging up! He charging up the hope beam! He charging up the hope bomb! Hold on, I'm going both! I'm going both! I'm going both! I'm going both! Hold on. Give me my hope! Give me my hope! Give me my hope! Why do I just gotta keep storing power? Oh, I got a hole? I'm so stupid! I'm button mashing! Come on! Come on! Come on, it's getting wrecked! You can't lose hope. The memories you made here but you will not even remember. Yeah. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Ah. Ah. Future Foundation. They're both hope and their conclusion will never. No, that's wrong. Why did bro go white? just be hope there will probably be a lot of despair too i don't know what kind of future awaits us but our futures are ours i won't let anyone take them huh? who the hell are you i've decided i'm done running away i will fight for my future i will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me it's not for anyone else's sake but my own don't tell me. Izuru? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? I am not 
Izuru Kamakura. I am Hajime Hinata. I am Hajime Hinata. You despair because you yearn for hope. You yearn for hope because you despair. Let's finish this already. There's no need for you to choose. Shut up! Shut up! If you do that, this game is gonna continue. If you don't want that, just turn off the game. Shut up! Even so, I. You don't have to look at the hopeless future. I didn't know what to do there. You despair because you yearn for help. You yearn for I had no clue what I was supposed to do right there. I'm not gonna lie. There's no need for you to choose. Cry about it. Cry about it. Shut up. No, you shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Shut up, bitch. Even so, I. Even so. I'll never let anyone choose again. I was messing up pretty badly right there. I, I couldn't time it. I had to go into. I had to use people's time. Hold on, I'm on a roll. Hold on, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. It's fine. I'll just use it. It's fine. It's fine. Just use what I can. Just use what I have. Use it while I have it. Use it while I have it. There's no hope. Just give up already. A miracle won't happen. I got it back. Hold on. You're through. You're finished. You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. Kill yourself. Kill yourself, nigga. You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do anything. No, that's wrong. Chiaki! What the heck is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this? All of a sudden! Everyone, let's shut this game down! Huh? But, but... Don't you get it? If we start the shutdown sequence, we'll... There's never only one choice to make. There's no way I'll allow things to end this way. The future everyone has created for us should have more possibilities than that. Let's leave this place with confidence, and from there we can just create it on our own. The future that we want. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Dog and wrap up. What are you saying? There's no way something that convenient is going to happen. It wouldn't be strange if a miracle happened. This isn't a game. We can change the future as much as we want. Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just gonna forget everything. Th that goes for everyone else! Um, we just have to press these two buttons at the same time, correct? Yeah! <laughs> um, I wonder. I do not really understand it myself, but... I just... I just saw it. When my body felt so heavy that I could not move, when I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea, it was at that moment I somehow heard Hajime's voice. And though it was just a flash, I saw it. Like a lighthouse beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. A warm, yet resolute light. The one who shined that light, it was probably... You saw it too, right, Hajime? The future we are going to create from this moment on. It is also the future that everyone has created, right? Then, there is no way we can stop now. S Seriously, that's a suicidal decision. Shut up, Junko. I'm well aware it might be an act of suicide. There's no telling how this will play out, but... I heard her voice. In fact, 
think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. I don't like thinking about complicated stuff. There's someone strong worth fighting. I fight. It's just who I am, you know? That's what it means to be confident, right? Then, I'm gonna choose this! Man, this sure is getting annoying again. But if you're saying you're gonna do it, there's no way I can back out now. If I don't have any place to go back to, I should at least protect this place no matter what. You... you all... Why? Why? How... How can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Because we believe. Huh? We believe in our future. That's what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We believe we can even create our own futures. That's... that's impossible! That can't be hope! It's not even despair! What is this?! Hajime, everyone, thank you. I'm not the one you should be thanking. Bella! Bella! Well, let's get started. I didn't think it would end this easily. Huh? It's not the end, right? This is just the beginning, right? First, we need to let this game world end. And from that point on, we're the ones who are going to create. Like that one God of War boss. This is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. How fun. <laughs> Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? <sighs> but I guess I no longer, I no longer have to <laughs> hope for despair. That is just so hopeless. What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. I guess it's just as Hajime said. At least this wasn't the ending prepared for them. This was the ending they created. Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, there's no need for us to do anything.
Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it will still have meaning, right? Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this, but I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so bad at explaining things. Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. I'm pretty scared. I am scared too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? That's the future! Hey, I'll never forget you guys. Or the others. You guys better remember me too. My name is... Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember. If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. So this is the end, but it's just the beginning. Isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. I can't help feeling scared. So scared, but... Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Phew. I finally said it. Me too. Thank you. I'll never forget about you guys. I'll never, ever forget. I'll be cheering for you guys from now on. From somewhere. Cause we're all friends after all. And so the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurdity, with nonsense, with sheer irrationality is about to lower its curtain. An incident smaller than Host Peak Academy's biggest, most tragic event. Smaller than the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. An incident so small it doesn't even have a name. The world will never know what happened here. Not now, not in the distant future. As long as they remain here. Apparently, they've finished the preparations. We can leave any time. Then, I guess we should get going. Hey, Makoto. Is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me. So I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? I don't think that's the case. I mean, if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends? I can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. But in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. No, the possibility isn't a problem. Even if there's the smallest possibility, they're still trying to create that future for themselves. In their eyes, that is the future. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. Strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and their despair, and they're trying to create their own future. Maybe. For people like that, miracles are inevitable, don't you think? 
<laughs> as cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. Haven't grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision this time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher-ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Uh, um... About that. I was gonna think about it while I was on the ship. Good luck. I'm not going to help you that much. <laughs> huh? Why? You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Fine. Then let's go back as well. We're not even close to finished yet. There's still a lot we must do. Besides the future foundation, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is not finished. We must end this once and for all, for the sake of the future. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. Don't make me remember something so horrifying. Then let's go. We must create our own futures, too. And so, the ordeal has ended. And from here, our daily lives have started. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical, and irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try to go anywhere, but it doesn't mean you'll get there. Even so, I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata. My future lies here.
ございましたお前ら愛してるぞあんわた。I'll have to check that out some other time. But, man, that was Duncan Rampa. Two Goodbye to Spare. Fantastic game. I loved it just as much as I love Trigger Happy Happy. The story was great. The characters were a lot more interesting than the last one to me, even though Kyoko is still my goat. You know, I don't, nobody's topping Kyoko on Makoto for me right now. But, man, Chiaki got so close. She got real close. Um, man, thank you to Spike Chunsoft, everybody that worked on this game. Thank you to Sunny for recommending it to me. He got me on it. Uh, man, I just don't. I'm excited for Danganronpa 2. That's all I can say. After this, I'm, I'm probably not, I'm, I'm probably not going to be uploading a lot of Danganronpa after this, and I want to get some, or I don't know, bro. I might just go in and finish, finish the final game so I can get on the other games. You know what? Y'all going to find out, but holy crap, man. This game was fantastic. fantastic. One of the oh, best man. stories I've heard, and I'm happy to have been recommended this. Um, that ending was something. I actually, like, ejaculated everywhere when the photo popped in the first time. Like, no, not, no, I, I thought that wrong. Like, my penis got erect. When, when Makoto popped in the first time. And when I, I, I slowly started to soften as I, like, you know, started to suspect, suspect him of being a fake. But when he actually showed up, like, bro, I, I got so rock solid hard. And then Kyoko pulled up and I just busted everywhere. Right? And then Yakuya pulled up and it's like, it just kept dripping, bro. Like, Y'all don't want to hear the Hey, if y'all made it this far, leave a comment that says dripping, bruh. <laughs> Peace out. I love you guys. Tap into whatever else I got coming. Y'all always know I keep it coming. Baby. Well, when Kyoko popped in. Um, <laughs> shut up. I love y'all. Peace out. <laughs> yeah.